Okay, so if there's anything we know, it's that uh, Disney loved Nietzsche's The Will to Power, to which uh, Goofy is clearly a metaphor, because he uh, uh, faces him, uh, frees himself from societal slavery by seizing his own independence and changing into pants, all right? Just like the pigs at the end of Animal Farm, pants mean free will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, Goofy, uh, he's united through. I I got this off Sparks notes. Uh, <laughs> right. So Goofy's anointed through his own ambition, takes his natural throne as as something Nietzsche referred to as the Ubermensch, <laughs> while Pluto chooses to remain in the shackles of his oppressors. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, I have a lot to say, so listen up, kids. Is that from Beyond Goof and Evil? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nikki, you have one minute starting right now. I don't know exactly what Goofy is, but I do know categorically that Goofy is not a dog because Mickey has a dog, and that dog is named Pluto. In the Disney universe, we're made aware that Pluto is a dog. Sure, one belonging to an anthropomorphic mouse, but a dog just the same. He's Mickey's pet. Pluto walks on all floors. He has, fours, he has a tail. He has a collar. And aside from that, he is naked. That would not be appropriate, <laughs> appropriate for Goofy to be naked. Pluto is Mickey's best friend, but not in the same way that Goofy is Mickey's best friend. The big difference is that when Pluto falls ill, Mickey will take him to the vet and euthanize him to be humane. <laughs> and after a time of mourning, and after a time of mourning, Mickey would just get a new dog to replace him. Do you expect Mickey to replace Goofy so easily when he dies? Go to the best friend pound and adopt a new Goofy? Please. Furthermore, do you think that Mickey has the right to request to euthanize Goofy, his non-pet best friend? You ghoul. You cannot replace friends. They live in your heart forever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. For making me think about whether there's medical assistance in dying in the Disney universe. <laughs> All right, uh, Andrew, you have 30 seconds to respond, starting now. I don't think she so much touched on Goofy being a dog, but did highlight an important fact that Mickey Mouse is the 1%. He is the bourgeoisie and controls the means of production and should be stopped. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Andrew. Nikki, you have the last word, 30 seconds starting now. Pluto is loyal and kind, so is Goofy, but Pluto demonstrates it through gestures that only a dog would make. Goofy is kind by picking up Mickey from the bar when he's hammered, and uh, also <laughs> pet sits Pluto when Mickey is out of town on a book tour. Do you not see the difference, sheeple? If Goofy had a pet... <laughs> If Goofy had a pet mouse, I think that we could call this debate a draw. But Goofy does not have a pet mouse akin to Mickey having a pet dog. That sounds too weird, right? If Goofy had a pet mouse, what if Goofy had a pet dog of his own? That's even more disturbing. As Missy Elliott would say, put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Nikki. But what if Goofy had... What if Goofy had a pet duck like the guys on Friends? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there also a monkey? Yeah, there was a monkey, but I don't think we want to talk about Sorry, that. Sorry, I okay. also don't think this was fair because Nikki clearly wrote her thesis on this. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of academic obscurantism going on right now. I would also like to point out that the lack of clothes on Pluto is actually slut shaming. Pluto <laughs> probably make. <laughs> Which is also slut shaming. Pink shaming. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. And now you, the audience, get to decide do you agree with Andrew that Goofy is a dog? Or do you agree with Nikki that he is some kind of non-dog entity? <laughs> Congratulations, Aristocats. You finally got a point. All right. <laughs>